Hello, and welcome back to Villainous, Star Wars Villainous. Today we are playing Kylo Ren, and Kylo Ren's objective is to commit to the dark side of the Force, meaning he has these six tokens here, and we gotta move them all towards the dark side. They start here in this neutral area, and they can go into the light side as well. Uh, so uh, let's begin by drawing, well, uh, let's go over some solo rules first. So I'll be playing solo today, and what that means is I'm going to have 20 rounds to win, which I'll keep track of on this 20-sided die. Uh, dice do not come with the game. I got this on my own somewhere. I don't remember where. Uh, I will be fading myself on a 1, 2, 3, or 4 out of 10 on this 10-sided die. And I will, uh, for every four turns that I don't get faded in a row, I'll uh, fade myself automatically, and I'll keep track of those four turns with this four-sided die. So uh, let's begin by drawing uh, four cards to start our hand. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So let's move these back. Okay, we have uh, Long Live the Supreme Leader. It's an effect card, costs two to play, and if we play it, we choose the, a card type. We reveal cards from our deck until we find a card of that type, then we put it in our hand. Uh, next we have uh, First Order Stormtroopers, they're an ally, cost one to play and have two strength and no additional ability. Next we have an effect card called, uh, called the Power of the Dark Side, uh, it costs just an ambition action to play, and we gain ambition equal to the number of destiny tokens in the dark side. Uh, and then we have Crushing Hope, it's a condition card. Now in solo mode, I treat conditions as if I need to uh, meet the condition, and if I do meet the condition, then I can play the condition card as a free action. So here, during their turn, if another player takes a fate action against you, you may play uh, Crushing Hope. That player can only reveal and play the top fate card against you. And there we go. So uh, let's begin by going probably here. We'll get three credits and we can play two cards. Uh, so why don't we do that? We're gonna go here. We're gonna get three credits. And uh, at the beginning of every turn, we gain one ambition. Uh, let's see, so we'll play, uh, we'll spend one credit to play a, um, a Force Order Stormtrooper. Let's send them to, let's see, where do we want to send them to? Uh, let's send them to the Snoke's chamber. We'll, we'll have them uh, protect the chamber there. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare there trying to do this so that there's not as much of a glare but it looks like I can't get around that so oh well sorry about that uh next we're going to play long live the supreme leader because we can play two cards at this location uh and let's get let's see uh let's look for an ally I'm trying to get Snoke so let's see if we can find an ally so we're going to reveal cards until we reveal an ally and then we put it in our hand ah Oh my god, okay, great. Uh, that was kind of a waste to play that because he was coming up, but no way to know that, so. Okay, great, that worked out. Um, wow. Uh, Alright, so we, no one to vanquish, we already did that, so we'll end that turn there. Let's go down to round 19. Uh, let's uh, get one card to get up to four. Uh, Sith Legacy, it's an effect card, costs two to play, uh, two ambition to play, and if we do that, we move a destiny token towards the dark side. Good, uh, we'll have two ambition at the start of our next turn, so maybe we can do that. Uh, ten, uh, so we do not get faded. Let's uh, keep track of that. Okay, so uh, let's see, we're definitely going to want to play Snoke at some point, because, uh, and I didn't even read what he does. So he's an ally. Uh, he costs three ambition to play. He has four strength, and if we uh, do an ambition action and play an amb or pay an ambition, we can place one destiny token in the dark side. So he'll really help us out. So uh, let's see where we want to go. Um, let's go over here. We're gonna gain one credit, and we're gonna gain one ambition. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of some cards. So we're gonna uh, discard Crushing Hope. Um, we don't have anything, uh, let's see, gain ambition equal to the number of destiny tokens in the dark side. You know, we'll just hold on to these three. Um, and nothing else we can do because we don't have enough. 
Uh, let's see, move it, movie destiny token towards the dark side. We could do this one, but I think we want to save up for Snoke, right? Let's save up for Snoke before we start doing any of that. So, um, so we'll end that turn there. Let's go down around 18. We'll draw, uh, one card to get back up to four. We got the last days of the Republic. It's an item card, costs two to play. Um, and if we do, we attach the, this card to one of our vehicles. When you would disengage from a hero vehicle, you do not reduce your hand size. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's see if we get faded on a one. A, so whenever I'm at a location with the fate symbol, I treat that as reducing the chances of getting faded to a one or two out of 10. So let's see what happens. Uh, nine, so we do not get faded. Let's increase this to three. Okay, uh, let's see. Next turn, uh, we're gonna. So let's see. We're gonna want to play Snoke somewhere. Um, okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's go here. Let's go to crate. We're gonna gain an ambition at the start of our turn. We're gonna gain a credit as well. Uh, we are going to now spend our three ambition that we've collected to play Snoke. Uh, and uh, let's play him at Snoke's chamber, because why not? Uh, and we already did an ambition action, so we can't trigger his action right now, and we don't have any ambition to spend. Uh, we can, uh, let's see, we could spend this, but we don't have any vehicles to attach it to. Uh, so we can't do anything else at this point. Point. So let's end that turn there. Go down around 17. Uh, let's uh, draw one card to get back up to four. Uh, we got I take what I want. It's a condition card. During their turn, if another player gains one or more credits, you may play I get I take what I want, gain that many ambition. Okay, great. So that'll help us gain ambition. Uh, a one, we're going to get faded, so that'll bring this back to one. And let's see what happens. Every word you said was wrong. An effect card. Place one destiny token on the light side and move one destiny token toward the light side. Okay. Or, there has been an awakening. Another effect card. Choose and play a hero from Kylo Ren's fake discard pile. That hero gets uh, plus one strength. There are no heroes there, so we're going to have to go with every word you said was wrong. We put one destiny cho token uh, on the light side and we move one towards the light side because everything's in the neutral area that makes two go directly into the light side All right, not good not good, but let's see what we can do. So I'm gonna go here to Snoke's chambers I'm uh, gonna get uh, three credits and one ambition and uh, by getting credits I will trigger this uh, condition, I, I can take what I want and get uh, as many ambition as I got in credits. So I'm going to get three ambition. One, two, three. Uh, so now let's see what we can do here. We're going to... Let's... Uh, so we do not have... An, uh, I just realized we don't have any uh, ambition actions at this location. So we are going to have to uh, pass the rest of the turn, I just realized, um, and we can't discard either. So we'll end that turn there. Let's go down around 16. Uh, let's, uh, draw one card to get back up to four. Uh, your son is gone. An effect card, uh, just costs an ambition action. Either gain one ambition or gain three ambition and move a destiny token towards the light side. Okay, let's see if we get faded. Uh, five, we do not. So we increase that. Okay, let's go somewhere where we can play and uh, do an ambition action. That's going to be, uh, and I want to get credits too. So here, here, uh, so here we can play a normal card as well. Do we want to? We don't need to. So let's go here. We're going to gain one credit and one ambition. Uh, let's do, let's see. Um, I want to do... I want to do Snoke's ability. Um, or do I want to do this? If we do this, at least we can get more stuff in our hand. But let's do Snoke's ability, because I, I don't want to end up losing Snoke. So we're going to spend one ambition to place one destiny token, place one destiny token in the dark side. Okay, I'm going to pick one from the light side and place it directly in the dark side. 
Um, okay. Uh, let's see, can I discard here? I can. Okay, let's discard some stuff. We don't have a vehicle, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, gain ambition. We have a lot of ambition. Gain one ambition and this one. Uh, I mean, this is essentially a worse version of Snoke. So I already have Snoke, and I can only do one at a time. Uh, so I'm going to discard that. Uh, gain ambition equal. I mean, we're, we're good on ambition. We're good on ambition. Uh, you know what? I'll hold on to power of the dark side. We'll get rid of that one. So that ends that turn, right? Anything else we want to do? No. So we'll go down around 15. Let's uh, draw uh, two, no, uh, three cards. Get back up to four. So one, two, and three. Uh, we got another power of the dark side. So we'll have two of those. Uh, then we have Power and Fear. It's an effect card. Costs three Ambition to play. Move two Destiny tokens towards the dark side. That's good. Uh, and then I can take what I want. What is that one again? Oh, yeah. We gain Ambition equal to the number of credits we gain. Okay. That's fine. So uh, let's see if we get Faded on a 1 or 2 out of 10. Uh, 9. So we do not. Increase that to number 3. Okay. So uh, we're definitely going to want to play power and fear uh and we'll eventually want to do that one um so let's go over here uh we're going to play uh, so first we'll gain a credit and we'll gain an ambition and then we're going to spend three ambition one two and three to play power and fear to move two destiny tokens toward the dark side so we're going to take this one out of the light side and we're going to move one towards uh, another one into the dark side so that's it for that one uh we can play a card but nothing is playable that way um okay so we're just going to end the turn there so let's move down around 14 we're going to draw uh, one card to get back up to four uh, that's the one where we can attach it to a vehicle. Let's see if we get faded on a 1 or 2 out of 10. 8, we do not. And that means next turn we're going to fade ourselves automatically. Uh, so let's see where we're going to go, knowing that we're going to get faded soon. Um, I want to discard to get rid of at least one of these. Uh, but I also want to get, let's see can discard either of these. I'm going to go, um, okay, let's go here. I'm going to gain, uh, credit and an ambition. I'm going to trigger this condition to get one extra ambition for getting a credit. Uh, I'm going to, uh, discard this card because I don't have a vehicle yet. I'm going to discard one of these, right? Actually, let's see. I can do that, right? Yeah, because I didn't. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use my ambition action to gain ambition equal to the number of destiny tokens in the dark side, which is two. So I'm gonna get two more ambition, and then uh, we'll end that turn there. So let's go down around uh, thirteen. Uh, let's uh, draw three cards to get back up to four. So one, two, three. Uh, we have uh, Sith Legacy, move a Destiny token toward the dark side. We got the Knights of Ren. Uh, when Knights of Ren is used to defeat a hero in a Vanquish action, gain ambition equal to the strength of that hero. And then uh, we got I Will Give You So Much More. It's an effect card, costs just an ambition action. Draw three cards from your villain deck. Okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, so now we're going to reset this to 1 and automatically fade ourselves. Uh, we have There Has Been an Awakening. Uh, choose and play. Let's see. Uh, choose and play a hero from Kylo Ren's Fate discard pile. That hero gets plus 1 strength. There are no heroes, so we're going to have to go with the next one. Poe Dameron. Uh, he is a hero with 2 strength. When Poe Dameron is played, remove an ally vehicle from Kylo Ren's sector. There are no vehicles, so we'll just play him somewhere. I guess we'll play him there, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have a maneuver ability anywhere? 
Huh, I don't have a maneuver ability, so I'm guessing that'll be one of the vehicles. Uh, but I do have these guys. So where do I have a vanquish? I can vanquish here. So let's go here. Uh, we're going to gain three credits and a ambition. Uh, we're going to just spend the three credits to play the Knights of Ren. Uh, and we're going to vanquish... Uh, do we want to play anything else? No. So we're going to now vanquish uh, Poe with the Knights of Ren. Uh, and when they're using a the vanquish action, we gain ambition equal to the strength of the hero. So we're going to gain two ambition because Poe Dameron has two strengths. And when we defeat a hero, this is in Kylo Ren's pamphlet, when we defeat a hero, uh, one uh, token goes towards the light side. So we're halfway there. Uh, we can't, we don't have any um, ambition actions here, so we can't play any of these cards, and we can't trigger Snoke's ability, so we'll go down around uh, 12, and uh, we'll draw a card to get back up to 4. Another, I will give you so much more. Let's see if we get faded. Uh, 6, we do not. Okay, what is our plan now? Um... We don't need any more ambition. We these, these might not be bad, uh, but let's see. I I want to. Uh, well, we're definitely going to want to discard, and we're going to want to trigger Snoke's ability. So let's go there. We're going to gain a credit. We're going to gain a um, ambition. Uh, let's uh, trigger Snoke's ability. To move uh, one destiny token uh, in the move. Place one Destiny token in the dark side. So, bam. We're more than halfway there. Uh, let's discard. Um, so this is basically a duplicate, a more expensive duplicate of Snoke. So we'll get rid of that. Uh, we have two of these. Uh, but let's see. We have plenty of ambition. Uh, I guess we'll hold on to these. Because this will help us draw a lot more. So, uh, you know what? Let's get rid of one. Let's get rid of one. Okay. So uh, let's go down to round 11. Uh, let's uh, draw three cards, get back up to four. One, two, and three. Here's number four. So another Sith Legacy. Uh, more Stormtroopers, Crushing Hope. What does that do again? Um, oh, right. So if we get faded, only the one of them gets played, the top one. And then we have that. Okay. So let's see if we get faded on a one, two, three, or f uh, no, one or two out of ten. Uh, that is a 1, so we're getting faded. So I guess I'll do this. Uh, I'm going to activate Crushing Hope so that we only play the top one. Every word you said was wrong. Uh, place one Destiny token on, on the light side and move one Destiny token toward the light side. So we'll place one on the light side and we'll move one uh, toward the light side. All right. Uh, so let's see, we want to, uh, we'll, we'll want to get this out of our hand, and, and maybe we'll play this also, right? Or do we want to trigger Snoke? That's the thing, like, I'm thinking, why do, why even use this if we can trigger Snoke? Uh, so let's just do that. So we're gonna, we want to play a card, and we want to trigger Snoke. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna gain one ambition, and, or one, um, uh, yeah, one ambition and one credit. Uh, we're going to spend the one credit to play uh, Stormtroopers uh, to uh, Dakar. And we'll spend one Ambition to trigger Snoke's ability to place... And we just place one Destiny token in the dark side. So we're getting it from the light side, placing it in the dark side. Uh, let's see, can we discard here? We cannot. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll end that turn there. Let's go down around 10. Uh, let's... Uh, draw two cards, get back up to four. Uh, your son is gone. What does that do again? Either gain one ambition or gain three ambition and move a destiny token towards the light side. Okay, we have what we need. What does that do? It's an effect card, costs one ambition. Look at the top four cards of your fate deck, discard one, and return the rest to the top of your fate deck in any order. Okay, and uh, that's it. So let's see what happens if we get faded or not. Uh, nine, we do not. Increase that to two. Okay. Uh, so we definitely want to use Snoke's ability, and that means everything else, like, 
We want to just keep using Snoke's ability, so let's just uh, go somewhere where we can discard, uh, which will be over here. So we're going to gain one credit, one ambition. We're going to use the ambition to uh, use Snoke's ability. And then we're going to discard uh, these three cards. And uh, we'll hold on to this one, and we'll uh, go down around nine. And uh, let's get... Uh, three cards get back up to four so one two and three uh we got more stormtroopers which is always good uh we got uh command shuttle costs three credits and if we it gives us the uh, ambition action vanquish action and discard action you may reveal cards from your fate deck until you reveal a hero place that hero in any location in your sector and then we have the Supremacy, which finally gives us a maneuver action. We can get two credits and play, do an ambition action. Choose an ally from your discard pile and put them in your hand. That's really good, too, if we lose Snoke some for some reason. Okay. So let's see if we get faded. Uh, three, where we do not get faded because we're at a place with the fate symbol. So only a one or two would, get, uh, would fade us, so we'll move that to three. Okay, uh, now I kind of want to play the Supremacy, but I definitely also want to um, trigger Snoke's ability. So why don't we go here, we're going to gain one credit, one ambition, uh, we're going to spend that ambition to place a token in the, uh, place one Destiny token in the dark side, and then, um, Let's see, we're going to spend three credits, which we have plenty of, uh, spend three credits to uh, place the Supremacy, play the Supremacy. So now we have an extra location we can go to, and that'll give us the Maneuver Ability, which is, it would be nice, because uh, what if a hero gets played to somewhere and we can't move anything around? So, that's good. Okay, uh, I think that's all we can do. Uh, we played a card, we did the ambition, we gained a token, so we'll um, end the turn there, go down around round 8. Let's see if we get faded. On a 3, we do not, because we're at a location with the fate action, So, uh, but next turn we will automatically fade ourselves, because it's uh, it'll be 4 turns in a row. Oh, we forgot to draw a card uh, for up to 4. Okay. Uh, what does this do again? Um, oh, right. So if I gain credits, I can gain that much ambition as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I definitely want to use Snoke's ability, and I want to play a card as well. Um, so let's do... Uh, Let's go here. We're going to gain a credit. We're going to gain an ambition. We're going to spend the ambition to use... Oh! I forgot... Uh, we're the, on our last turn. Do we need to start our turn? No. Okay, so... Let's reverse, because I like to fate myself automatically before if, I, if I'm like about to win. So let's reverse a little bit. Where was I before this? I think I was here. So let's reverse... Um, we don't need to reverse much. All we're going to do is fade ourselves before we do anything. Uh, I think I gained a credit, right? And I spent that, uh, well, I, I was going to get it and spend it. So I didn't do anything yet on my turn. Let's fade ourselves to see if we would be prevented from winning. Uh, come home, uh, move one Destiny token toward the light side. So that would per that would delay us from winning, so we'll, we'll probably play that. Uh, Luke Skywalker. When Luke is played, let's see, when Luke is played, move all allies in play to Luke Skywalker's location. When performing a vanquish action to defeat Luke Skywalker, at least two allies must be used. So even if I play Luke, I would not be prevented from winning. So I'm going to do come home. That would prevent, or at least delay me from winning. So I'm going to move one Destiny token toward the light side. Okay, now let's go into the turn we were going to do. So we were going to go here. We are going to gain one uh, credit and one uh, ambition and spend the ambition to do Snoke's ability. Uh, and let's see, we can, uh, we can discard. Uh, let's get rid of the shuttle because I don't think we would... Uh, 
famous last words if I get rid of it, right? So I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this because we've never used it this whole time. And I'll hold on to these two. Uh, so let's go down to round seven. Uh, we're going to draw two cards to get back up to four. So one and uh, two. Uh, we have what we need, an effect card, cost one ambition, look at the top four cards of your fate deck, discard one and return the rest to the top of your fate deck in any order. And Palpatine's Legacy, uh, an effect card, costs just an ambition action. Uh, shuffle your discard pile into your deck, draw, th uh, draw five cards, that's pretty good. Um, so uh, we're going to automatically fade ourselves again because again we are about to win. All we need to do is trigger Snoke's ability again. So uh, let's automatically fade ourselves and let's see if we would be prevented or delayed from winning. So let's see what we got. Han Solo. Uh, when Han Solo is played, place a Destiny token in the neutral area of the Destiny tracker. Okay, that would delay us from winning. And Heart and Strength. Uh, fine and play Ray. Wait, find a play Ray. Kylo Ren cannot move Destiny tokens toward the dark side until Ray is defeated. Pay four ambition to remove heart and strength. So that would definitely be worse for us. So that goes under here like this. But let, let me make sure I do this right. So we need to find and play Ray. Where is she? Where is Ray? Ray. Ray. She was the last one. Okay. So I just shuffled these back. Okay. So we find and play Ray. Uh, let's do that first. So when uh, when Ray is played, move all Destiny tokens toward the light side. Oh man! So that moves towards the light side, and that all of this move. Oh my God! We lost every all of our progress has been lost all of our progress has been lost wow yikes um okay uh <laughs> oh my god i can't believe that just happened uh okay kylo ren cannot move destiny tokens toward the dark side until ray is defeated pay four ambition to remove heart and strength oh Man, that was brutal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. I don't even know. I'm like speechless right now. Um, holy crap. Uh, what do we do? Um, I don't even remember if I flipped this or not. Do I have four cards? Oh my goodness. I'm so out of it right now after that. Wow. Um, okay. We got to figure something out. So do we do we defeat Ray with something, uh, or do we get rid of this? For I think we can do both. So let's go, let's go here to the supremacy. Uh, we can choose an ally from our discard pile and put them in our hand. I guess we'll do that. Let's see if we, uh, we'll just get a stormtrooper if we have one. Oh, we'll get the knights. Yeah, we'll get the knights of Ren. Perfect. I forgot we had them. Um, oh, and, and we'll get two credits and an ambition for going here. Uh, just one ambition, two credits. Um, okay, we cannot play anything, and I was going to move... I guess I don't need to move something anymore if I have this. But I still wanted to go here in order to do that. So that's fine. I, I'm not upset that I went there. It's good that I went there so I can get the knights. So, okay, I guess I'll have to end that there. But what? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend, what is it, uh, four ambition to remove heart and strength. So one, two, three, four. Getting rid of four ambition to remove heart and strength. So at least now I can... I can move Destiny tokens without having to um, defeat her, defeat Rey. Um, so what I'm going to do is, now that I can do, now that I got rid of that, I can I can use uh, Snoke's ability. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, how did I get? Oh, right. So so I still have my ambition action. So I'm going to use Snoke's ability. 
I'm going to take it from the light side, put it there, because I don't need to move towards it. I can just place it directly in there. Um, okay, anything else that I can do? Not really. Wow, that was brutal. Okay, uh, let's go down to round six. Uh, let's, uh, so, let's see if we get faded. Um, this is back at one, because we just had that terrible thing happen. And yep, now we're just going to get faded constantly, because why not? Uh, so do I have... Yeah, I can't draw any cards, so let's put everything back. And let's fade ourselves. Oh my goodness. Uh, when Leia uh, Organa is played, Kylo Ren loses all ambition. What? What are these cards? Oh my goodness. Move one Destiny token towards lights. Like, yeah, uh, definitely Leia. She's going to hurt us the most. Put her there, away from all the allies. I lose all ambition? Oh my goodness. What is this? What is this fate deck here? We were like one turn away from winning. Oh my god. Uh, we have tons of credits, and we had plenty of ambition, but man, look at that. Five ambition gone because of Leia. Oh, what are these cards? She has three. Oh, man, what are we doing? Okay. All right, well, jeez, I'm, I'm like out of it so I'm, I'm gonna gain we don't gain any credits here but we don't need any we're gonna gain a, an, a, an ambition we're gonna play uh, we're gonna spend three credits to play the Knights of Ren uh, and we'll play them here and we're gonna uh, vanquish Ray, and we'll gain ambition equal to her strength so they'll that'll give us three ambitions so at least we'll we'll come back a little bit from that okay so that was nice um, we can still do an ambition action, um, and we can discard. I'm going to discard Palpatine's Legacy. Um, I'm going to discard We Have What We Need. Uh, I'll hold on to the command shuttle, just in case a, uh, a hero vehicle comes out, which most likely will happen. I think there's two in there still. So, um, but we're going to do the, uh, ambition action to... Uh, uh, to trigger Snoke's ability. Let's put another one there. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I think we just have enough turns to pull, uh, to, to pull a win out of this. So let's, that, uh, that's it for that turn. So we'll go down around five. Uh, let's, uh, draw, what, two, uh, cards to see if we, uh, to get our hand back up to four. Um, so that's when we're only one, uh, uh, fake card is played, and... Oh, good. This location gains the maneuver action. It wasn't that nice. There's only one of those in there? We, we should have two of those, but it will. Okay, let's uh, see if we get faded. Uh, six out of ten, we do not. Uh, so we'll increase this to two. Okay. All right. Uh, we need to get rid of Leia. Uh, so... I think what we'll do is, uh, well, we don't need to get rid of Leia. We just want to get rid of Leia. Really, what we need to do is uh, keep triggering Snoke. So let's go to Crate. We'll gain a credit. We'll gain an ambition. Uh, and we're going to spend the ambition to trigger Snoke's ability. Um, and let's play... Uh, We'll spend, uh, we'll spend one credit to play the First Order Stormtroopers, or, or the First Order here, First Order Officers here at Dakar. I think we'll play the First Order Troopers at Dakar. I mean, First Order Officers at Dakar. That way we can maneuver and, and vanquish in the same action. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, anything else that I can do here? Uh, we already did that. We played a card. Uh, okay, so let's end that turn there. We're down to round four. Uh, let's, uh, see if we get... Well, actually, we need to draw... We need to draw one card to get back up to four cards. Oof. Man, this one went completely bonkers. Oh, my God. What a...
turn of events. I don't think I've ever had that happen where it just completely went from right about to winning to just completely losing. Almost, almost absolutely losing. Like almost no way out. Like if we had had less turns, like if we had less than six turns ahead of us when that happened, we would have, there's no way we could have won. I don't think so. Okay. So let's get a card. Uh, move two destiny tokens towards the light side. Okay, well then th that is the only card that may have helped us if we had less than uh, six turns at that time. Um, okay, let's see if we get faded on a one or two out of ten. Uh, three, we do not get faded, thankfully. But we'll increase that to three. Okay. Alright, we wanna... Well, we definitely wanna trigger... Okay, we're going here. Uh, we're gonna gain an ambition, and we're gonna spend that ambition to trigger Snoke's ability. Uh, we are going to, uh, play for one credit, uh, Stormtroopers here. And we are going to use the Maneuver ability to put Stormtroopers here. And we are going to now do the Vanquish action to Vanquish Leia. And that'll also uh, put one of these down here. And you know what? Tell me in the comments, did I forget to... I think I forgot to uh, put, in, put a token down here when I did Ray, when I, when I Vanquished Ray. Let me know. I think I forgot be, because I should have moved a token down, but I don't remember. But with Leia, we did that. So now we are right about to win again. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so we're. I'm going to discard this one because we're not going to use it. We're going to automatically fade ourselves. Uh, we'll hold on to these two. Let's go down to round three. Uh, we are going to draw back up to four. So, one, and two. Okay, so we got the Knights of Ren, which are always good, and we got your Sun is Gone. What is that one? Um, oh, right, I can gain one ambition or gain three. Uh, that's fine. Okay. We are going to automatically fade ourselves, because we are just, uh, we'll win next turn if we don't. So we'll reset that. Let's automatically fade ourselves. I don't, I, I cannot believe that, I cannot think that there would be something else that bad. When, when Millennium Falcon is played, find Han Solo and play him to any location in Kylo Ren's sector. Okay, I don't think that would uh, prevent us from winning. We'll have to look at Han Solo to make sure. Uh, when Black One is played, remove an ally with the lowest strength from Kylo Ren's sector. Okay. So, I think even if we played both of these, we would still not lose. We would not be prevented from winning. Let's, uh, let's, get, let's find Han Solo and see what he says. Here. Oh, that, that would prevent us from winning, at least for now. Right, okay, so we're gonna... So to so for that reason, we're gonna do uh, uh, the Falcon. So when it's flayed, find Han Solo and play him to any location in Kylo Ren's sector. We'll play him here. And when he is played, we place a Destiny token in the neutral area of the Destiny Tracker. Okay, so that does delay us from winning, at least. Um, okay, so now that the Falcon is here, it prevents us from doing these actions, but the ability is still there. Um, so let's see. And they are engaged. Um... But let's see, I do, I think we still might win. No, oh yeah. We, I think we'll still place it and put it in the neutral area. Yeah, I think we're still going to win. Okay, so let's do this. Um, we're going to go here. We're going to gain a, uh, credit. We'll gain an, um, uh, we'll gain a ambition. And we're going to spend three ambition to play power and fear. Move two destiny tokens toward the dark side. See that move two destiny tokens toward the dark side. So we're going to move one and two. And there we go. We, we won. There you go. With, uh, we won with three rounds to go. 
so uh, there you have it. We have one as Kylo Ren because we have committed to the dark side of the force by having all six destiny tokens on the dark side. Whew, that was uh, that was definitely something. Uh, it is now time to recite the litany of the meme. The night is dark and full of terrors, but I know that we will live long and prosper, for the force will be with us always against the forces of he who must not be named. As we remember to keep it secret, keep it safe, until the day we assemble in the name of Muad'Dib. So, say, we all! <laughs>